Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and uh, tonight I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Norton Internet Security 2012's uh, removal capabilities just out of the box. So what we have right here is a really infected uh, virtual uh, machine, a computer running on VMware. Um, I just kind of turned on this machine just now and as you can see right here uh, we're starting to get some random connections out to different IP addresses. Um, and my Komodo, I'm using Komodo on my host machine, Komodo Internet Security. So what I'm going to do, um, just for the, uh, while, I'm, uh, while I'm doing this video, I'm going to turn off my firewall on my computer so I can let all this stuff go out. Um, this computer that I'm on, like I said, is really infected. If you want to know it's at what it's infected with, um, I guess I can show you that. I think this will this will change pretty much every video. I'd like to have a uniform test bed, you know, for every single antivirus that I want to check uh, for the year of 2012. But um, the samples would be so old by the time I got around to anything, uh, it wouldn't really be fair. So. So anyway, I have a post on my uh, blog, remove malwarecom It's the latest post up there. And um, this is what I pretty much loaded. Um, the only thing I couldn't find was a fake AV. It was kind of weird, but none of the ones um, none of the ones I found were really doing anything. Or they didn't install. It was just a weird day. So, so these samples are mm, probably a few days old. Um, and they're probably getting updated right now since I turned on the virtual machine. So what we're going to do, the goal of these tests, and I'm going to be testing out every antivirus I can get my hands on for 2012, is just just want to see how um, the 2012 products deal with uh, the current malware that's out there right now. Um, like I said in my post, what typically happens to me um, when I go out and work on a customer the owner isn't usually patched. They're afraid of doing Windows updates. I don't know why, they just are. I guess they figure they'll really mess up their computer. Um, the owner always seems to let somebody use their computer, uh, whether it's somebody watching their dog, babysitter, whatever. They come back and they find their computer is almost unusable um, because it's so infected. Um, sometimes the owner will go to a local store. You know, If they don't call me, they'll go to a local store buy an antivirus application and try you know to remove the viruses that are the, on their computer if the antivirus doesn't actually remove the viruses on their computer they get pretty pissed you know they're like hey I just spent 60 bucks I can't return this what's going on and then their life gets shittier <laughs> uh, then they have to call for help usually and this is like I said this is a story I pretty much get all the time so anyway, without further further ado, I've got a copy of Norton Internet Security 2012. I just downloaded it. I'm gonna try to copy it straight into my virtual machine. So far, so good. What the what the goal is? We want to see if we can get this computer running back to where it was. I'll give you some samples of what's going on. I sh for sure shouldn't leave that out. Let's say I'm inside my virtual machine now, the infected one. Let's say I want to open up Google Chrome. Let's give it a second here. I can hear my hard drive cranking away. If I try to open up Google Chrome on this computer, Internet Explorer opens up. No way around that. There's some piece of malware on here that just launches IE instead. Uh, if I want to search for free antivirus, free antivirus, and let's go to Avast. See if we can get to Avast. All right, so far so good. The other day that didn't work out. But the, the, the computer's super slow. I mean, bad. Let's try a few more of these.
typically what will happen is I get redirected to some uh, parked site serving nothing but ads. And um, it's something I know all about. That's typically a great sign that you're infected with, uh, usually it's a rootkit. And there's tons and tons of money to be made by redirecting people to park sites. Um, sometimes these sites aren't even loading right now. I'd love to give you a sample though, I mean, otherwise you won't really know what I'm talking about. And this is a great a great little piece of evidence for you people who might be infected right now watching this. You might be like, hey, yeah, that shit's happening to me. So, uh, so I have something trying to load right here. For VideoSoft PDF to Word Converter. I have no idea. I didn't start that installer. Well, let me uh, let me pause it until I get a sample because I think it's kind of important that you see that. I need to get something to drink anyway. You can tell I haven't um, <laughs> recorded something in a while. I can't find my damn. Oh, there it is. Day. Okay, so I had to reboot to get to, uh, what I wanted to show you to come up. So when I searched for um, searched for free antivirus and I can't get back now, um, I clicked on ESET site. So it was ESET.com or ESET India, I think it was, um, because my browser is uh, its location is set to India now for some some reason. And whenever I do a search for ESET antivirus, it brings me to forex.com. So if we look at this URL, we can see that indexers.com is paying someone to redirect us to this site. And it's their affiliate right here. So you can see AFF equals this. So that just because I went to the site, somebody is getting credit for that. That money is going into their account. So it's always interesting to look for the AFF ID or, or something like that. So someone's being paid for that, definitely. So if we go back to um, Google here, if we can. Because if you can get some kind of credit from Forex.com, Forex.com, you're, you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars if somebody actually does well in Forex and if you referred them you being the malware distributor you can make a, a nice pretty penny on commissions on affiliate commissions so all of the malware that you see online today all of it is not for fun very 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 small percentage might be but you know almost all of it's related to making some kind of buck off the internet whether it's stealing identity or getting uh, commissions sorry I was doing a speed test earlier <laughs> oh free antivirus let's see if I can get another one here so somebody's getting paid definitely Let's try PC tools, see if we get redirected there. It's not every search that gets redirected, it's only a few searches. That's just to kind of keep you under the radar, but right now it's just taking over hardcore. So redirecting us through a series of sites, and we go right to Yellow Book. So if we take a look at Yellow Book, somebody might have some kind of affiliate program with Yellow Book, and they might be getting paid somehow. But anyway, basically we're really infected, so you get the idea. Anyway, let's get right to it. I'll go ahead and install Norton and see if we can. Norton comes with an installable CD. They also that CD can also double as a bootable uh, removal tool. I don't know if they give that away in their trialware or not, but that's what I'm using right now. So so far so good.
even with the uh, PC being um, this infected, it's still able to install at a decent rate. And then after this, um, it's going to want to go ahead and do an update, so we'll see if we can do one of those too. And see if we can get this PC uh, working like it used to. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just pause this because I have to run out really quick. Okay, it says our computer's protected by Norton power, speed, security. Alright, let's go ahead and explore. Knowing that um, our PC is pretty infected, we're going to try to configure some, some settings. We also want to do our update. So this says live update, last update 202 days ago. Let's go ahead and try to do an update here. I am not going to sign up for a Norton account. I know they want to uh they want me to do that, but I'm not. So as you can see, it's going to go through these three steps. Check for updates, download, process them. Uh, almost all the uh, Norton Semantic products are the same way. So once that's complete, I'll um, come back and we'll go ahead and start tweaking a few of the settings. Okay, it completed our updates. And um, it just wants us to reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, just to be fair, I just booted back up and it's going through a second round of updates. So I just wanted to show everybody that it's uh, going through two update processes here. Hopefully we don't have to reboot. Uh, but we shall see. Okay, it wants us to restart again. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, let me get back into it, and we'll go ahead and do another live update. Just going to keep doing updates until I know I'm completely update before I do any kind of uh, full scan or anything like that. Small update. <laughs> wow. Third reboot. Oof. They can... um definitely improve on that somehow anyway restart now okay so after three of those updates and reboots and things like that we're set so we're all ready to go um, first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, there's one little setting I don't think I really want to have people adjusting their settings too much just because um, if you turn up, if, if you crank up some of these settings, you can actually get rid of legit stuff. Um, so you want to be kind of careful on um, cranking up uh, things like heuristics or the sonar protection. Got to be sort of careful on that. Um, enable boot time scan is the only one I set to max aggressive. Uh, enable boot time protection, sorry. So you want Norton to start before uh, anything else really can. Uh, that way you can get rid of little nasties that start up 
um, when Windows does. So, it, or it helps your chances. I'll just say that. So uh, we'll go ahead and do a scan now, and we're gonna go ahead and do a full system scan. So I'm probably gonna break this review up into um, two separate um, videos, just because I'm running out of time here. I've got things, uh, computers I have to work on tonight. But I'll, I'll upload this uh, part one once we get back with these results. So, um, so I'll just go ahead and pause it, and we'll see what's going to happen now when we get back in. Okay, so after that full scan completed, um, it detects one particular thing. It's called spyware.adh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, apply all. Try and fix it. Uh, it says all threats resolved. All right, well, let's see if that's true. Uh, let's go ahead and open up. Uh, nope, can't open up Chrome still. That still seems to be not working. Um, let's try it again. No, it still opens up Google. Um, if I want to do a search in Google for the same thing as before, which is free antivirus. Let's go down. And I'm still on this India browser here. And uh, I'm still getting redirected to some sites. Zango.com. <laughs> okay, so it still looks like pretty infected here, even though uh, I did a full scan, uh, fully updated Norton, and um, still getting redirected. So not much has really changed at all. Uh, if we look at what Norton says, uh, it says we're secure. Um, so anyway. So far, um, this is part one of this uh, removal review of Norton Internet Security 2012. Looks pretty bad. Looks like really nothing changed at all. After I've done three updates and a full scan, I'm just as infected as I was before. So I'm going to go ahead and um, halt the movie at this point uh, for today. And uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll do a... Uh, a safe mode scan, see if there's something else that we can see in safe mode. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do some comparative scans using um, using uh, combo fix and um, some bootable uh, anti-malware uh, disks. So uh, that's it for tonight, and I'll see you probably tomorrow. I think I just have uh, just a few appointments tomorrow. So.